Let's speak now to Tor Venislond. He's the UN Special Coordinator for the Middle East Peace Process, joins us now from Oslo in Norway. Uh, Mr Venislond, thanks for joining us. Uh, your statement that uh, you've released just uh, a little while ago uh, certainly says it all in terms of your reaction to what's been happening uh, in the Gaza Strip and in southern Israel. Absolutely. Uh, I'm horrified and disgusted by this uh, attack this morning. Uh, it is a huge number of civilians that have been uh, killed or seriously wounded. There are a number of people being kidnapped. There has been indiscriminate launching of thousands of rockets into Israel. Uh, and I'm very concerned that we will now have some superbly difficult days ahead of us. Mm -hmm. And I'm particularly concerned about the situation inside Gaza, as you know, a very limited uh, space area where half of the population is under 16. So I would remind parties about what is about to happen. It is easier to start things than to get out of it. And everybody should consider what is necessary and needed to step back from the brink. This is one of the most serious and dangerous escalations we have seen back many, many years. Uh, Mr. Vinicius, let me just come in here, and I understand uh, your position uh, as a diplomat to say what you have to say, yet we've had Palestinian um, contributors to Al Jazeera all morning since this uh, attack began uh, from the Gaza Strip into Israel, and they have said, one after another, that they have been continually provoked over the last 70 years, but certainly the last... 12 months with a right-wing Israeli government, with right-wing cabinet ministers, with settler occupation uh, in, in lands where they should not be, have been continuing to attack Palestinians. Over 250 Palestinians have been killed in 2023. A handful, regrettably, of Israelis and foreigners have been killed in Israel. Yet you make no mention of this in your statement. Well, I can assure you... Do you have no you sympathy for the Palestinians anything. and their cause at all? I must say, it, I'm a little surprised by the question. I mean, well, the, the question is a valid question, a, sir, when you're only re relating to the, to, the, to, to, to the... ..to the Security Council on exactly the elements you're mentioning, about the settler attacks, about the violence that has taken place in the West Bank, about the recurrent escalation uh, and incursions and demolitions. Is it anyone that is aware of this it is the UN, and we are the only one reporting on it. So that is actually, we know the back curtain for this very, very well. But what I'm saying now is that we have a twist in this that is very dangerous. And everybody knows it. And it's very difficult to get this off ramped. And I'm afraid that we would come into a situation where those who really will have it would be civilians. Uh, Mr. Whitten, just finally, uh, before um, we go, uh, can I ask what the next step is on the diplomatic front? While you can ask both sides to step back from the violence, as diplomats, as the UN, when you have so many Western countries, you might say, supporting uh, Israel's position right now, uh, and, and, and maybe the Islamic world, as they wake up, you know, it's a different time zone, waking up and supporting uh, the Palestinians. Uh, how do you even begin to start talking to either side? How difficult is that process? We have already started that process as of early this morning. We will see when the time is sufficiently mature for something else to happen. But uh, it is normal for UN and my own team to start this work immediately when a massive escalation is coming up. Exactly how we can get that done and when we can get into a serious uh, dialogue on how to stop it, that remains to be seen. But I can assure you this one will be very difficult because of its scale uh, and the consequences of what we have seen so far in the early morning hours of today.
Tor Vinnesland, uh, the Middle East Peace Process Coordinator. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on Al Jazeera, sir.